it's Roscoe, back at it with another video. Today I thought I'd just try something simple. Simple question and answer video, since every time I go on Snapchat and I post a Saraha link, I get hundreds and hundreds of questions every time, and they're always the same questions. So this time, I figured I'd just take to Snapchat, even though the new Snapchat update sucks, and I prompted people to ask me questions just to help get to know me a little better. So without any further ado, Let's get into it. All right, first question comes from Carly Cool Beans. She asks, what's your favorite type of music? Well, obviously, since I'm a KISS DJ, I do like Pop Top 40. I've listened to KISS FM ever since I was in middle school. But I'd have to say my favorite type of music is dance music. I like to dance. If anybody knows me, you know that's a fact about me. So if it's got a good beat and you can dance to it, more than likely, I like it. Okay, Mia Minor 6018 asks, do you play any instruments? No, I don't. It actually kind of bums me out that I never learned how to play anything. Both of my uncles on my mom's side are very, very good guitar players, and I totally could have learned from them when I was growing up. And I know it's never too late, but I'm just a super busy person, and I don't really have the time as of right now to sit down and learn how to play guitar. I wish I knew how to play guitar, though. Okay, ncrisildo0002 asks, What got you so interested and so good at what you're doing today? Actually, what got me started off was acting on stage, doing plays and musicals. I fell in love with performing in high school, and I kept doing it when I was in college, and then when I finally got to Alfred State, they had a student-run radio station, and I kind of just jumped on board with that for fun. And the more I did it, the more I really liked it. I was acquainted with S. Dot from KISS FM, and I reached out to him, expressing interest in learning more about a real commercial radio station and they took me in as an intern in 2013 and since then I've just been helping out as much as I could learning as much as I could started my own DJ business started doing dances and weddings and all that stuff eventually and now I'm super proud to say that I'm a full-time member of the KISS crew and I run my own DJ business and I love every second of it let's see punny underscore King asks where in the world do you want to travel? First on my list of dream vacations is Hawaii. One of my favorite Disney movies is Lilo and Stitch, and since that movie came out, I've always wanted to visit Hawaii. And then second on my list is taking a tour of Italy because I'm Italian. I would love to see Rome, Venice, and Milan. I heard it's all just beautiful, and I would love to see it one day. All right, here's somebody who knows how much of a dork I am. J-Rod1219 asks, what characters in Deadpool 2 are you most excited to see? Obviously, I want to see more Deadpool, and Cable looks like a badass, and I'm kind of curious to see if any more of the X-Men are gonna pop up in Deadpool 2. Definitely looking forward to it. All right, Sophia Lamana 3 asks, where did Mickey Monday come from? Well, first off, my diet is horrible, and I love McDonald's. That aside, I once got some great advice from a family friend who said, you should give yourself something to look forward to on Mondays because Mondays are like the toughest day of the week. Whether it be making plans with friends every Monday night, going to see a movie. I chose that on Mondays, I'd go to McDonald's for lunch. So on Mondays when it's tough to get out of bed in the morning, I know that I got McDonald's for lunch coming my way. It gets me excited, helps get me through the day, and it's a nice little treat. So that is the origin of Mickey Monday. By the way, McDonald's, if you're watching, you should sponsor me and let's make that a national campaign. Just saying, it's got potential. As a follow-up to that, Foley2001 asks, what's my favorite thing to order at McDonald's? I am a simple guy with simple needs. I get two double cheeseburgers with only ketchup and a large orange high C. And I know what you're thinking, a lot of the McDonald's got rid of the orange high C, but the one near my house still has it. And I'm very happy about it. All right, let's see. List 731 asks, what songs do you like to play as a DJ? Well, I got my list of my go-to's. There's certain songs that no matter how old you are, what gender you are, you're gonna dance to it. One of those being Yeah by Usher, You Got Low by Flo Rida, You Got Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus, and the list goes on from there. Okay, Cam Pratt 12 asks, what inspired you to become a DJ? Well, I went into kind of how I fell into it earlier, but one thing that's kept me going is that it's a job that makes people happy. One thing that always puts a smile on my face is that after a wedding or after a dance or party, when some of the kids or the guests come up to me and say, that was the best dance we've ever had, or we had a blast, we're gonna remember this wedding forever. And I know I'm not curing cancer or solving world hunger, but I feel like my job does make a difference because I help people get out of their shells and forget about their day-to-day -day worries for a couple hours and just allow people to have fun. 
And that's what keeps me going through my busy schedule and why I'm so addicted to it is because I get to help create memories for people and that's super rewarding. Brooke underscore Michaela asks, where did the name Roscoe Red come from? Okay, hope you guys are ready for this story. It's such a random stupid story, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. So when I first went to college, I started off at MVCC and I went there for digital media and animation and they have a great animation program which a lot of kids from all over the state come to even though it's only a two year. So a lot of the kids in the animation class were not from the Utica area so they had to all stay in the dorm buildings. So they all got to meet each other before school started. Me living, what, seven minutes away from MV like I do, I didn't have to go to orientation because I didn't live on campus. So on the first day, I go in and I started introducing myself and again, everybody else already pretty much knew each other and I already spent a week with each other. Turns out there were a lot of people with the same name as me. So we were trying to come up with a nickname for me and nothing was sticking. And the way animation classes work is the teacher kind of gives you a lecture, shows you how to do something in, in the animation program. And then for the second half of the class, we sit down and we just work on it. Our teacher is up in the front of the class kind of telling a story. Some kids are sitting there listening to music, other kids are just kind of talking and joking around, doing the project. So there was this one girl named Kelly. And Kelly was by far the class clown and the biggest personality in the room. She was hard at work on the project listening to some song. As soon as Professor Pieco was about to get to his point of the whole story, the reason why he was telling us this story, Kelly slams her fist on the counter, her pen goes flying, stands up, whips around, points right at my face, and says, Roscoe, that's your f***ing name. Cuts the teacher right off. Everybody starts dying laughing, including me. People are crying, they were laughing so hard. I mean, you just had to be there, and in that moment, it was just so funny, the way it all happened, the look on his face. And from that point on, Roscoe stuck. So then when I transferred to Alfred State, for my four year degree, a few of the other students transferred with me for the same reason. And the name didn't stick as well out there, but it did in the animation classes. And when I started doing my college radio station and I was trying to come up with a DJ name, DJ Roscoe kind of had a good ring to it. So I ran with it and then I added the red later because there are some other DJ Roscoes out there in the world, but DJ Roscoe Red is just me. You Google that, it's me. Plus, red's my favorite color and I always wore red when I was DJ Roscoe. So it just made sense, they both start with R. It just all kind of came together really well. So that is where Roscoe Red comes from. Ties into my animation roots. Okay, Lauren D5557 asks, how long have you been a DJ? I think altogether now, when I first started on my college radio station, it's been seven years, cause that was in 2011. But I've only had my Roscoe Red business for three years now. So it really hasn't been that long and I'm still pretty new at it. So I just gotta say thank you for all your guys' support so far. It's been a great ride and I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Jackfish05 asks, what do you do in your free time? Well, a lot of my free time goes towards these videos. I watch a lot of TV and Netflix. And really I just try to make time for friends and family whenever I can. I have a very jam-packed schedule, but as time goes on, it's getting easier and easier to balance all the branches. Mayania the Queen, I hope I'm saying that right, asks, who's your biggest inspiration? One of my biggest inspirations, funny enough as it is, is Jimmy Fallon. I mean, more so than being a DJ, I kind of got into this to be more of a MC, radio personality, host type of person. And Jimmy Fallon does it in a way that I aspire to do it. He's very funny and at the same time, he's great with talking to his guests. He's always interesting to watch. And I watch The Tonight Show whenever I can just to kind of pick up his techniques and his habits and um, I try to model myself after him a lot of the time. Also more on the sentimental side is my parents. My mom and dad are super hard working and they've given me so much. They built this beautiful house that I got to grow up in. They saved up enough money so that I didn't have any student loans after I graduated college and my parents have done a lot and I owe a lot of my success to them. Because without them there's no way I'd be where I am today. And I hope to be as successful as them when I'm their age. Okay, enough with the sappiness, moving on. Okay, Gabber Goober asks, what is my favorite Snapchat filter? I can actually pull it up for you right now because I have one that I saved in my memories. Okay, here it is. I don't know why, but I really like this one. That one needs to come back, I miss it. Okay, Brooke. 
5664 asks, where is your favorite place to DJ? Obviously, I gotta go with Rock and Jump. There's a reason I've been there for two years. It's always a good time. I love the kids that come out. If you're watching this and haven't been to Rockin' Friday yet, every Friday, 9 to 11 o'clock, ages 11 to 17, come out and party because we have a blast every weekend. All right, here's an interesting one. Lexi Lynn 135 asks, how do you know what to do as a DJ? Is it difficult? Well, like any profession, you gotta learn and you gotta adapt. And my style and technique has definitely evolved even in the last year. And really, it's just about reading the crowd and playing the right music and getting people going. All right, next from Liz Lovey. Why are you obsessed with the color red? LOL. Well, funny enough, my favorite color actually used to be green when I was little. But my mom always liked the color red and she always thought I looked good in the color red. So she would buy me red clothes and eventually I started to really warm up to the color red and started liking it myself. So then when I started liking it, then my mom just went nuts and bought me a lot of red clothes and just read everything. Anything that was available in the color red, that's what she would get me. You should have seen my college dorm room, it was like a red explosion. So you can blame it a lot on my mom, but also, it's just a part of who I am now, funny enough, a color. Well, I realized I kind of just pigeonholed myself for the rest of my life. I hope my favorite color never changes. All right, I got two good questions from LexiN73. The first one is, What's your favorite show? My current favorite show is definitely The Flash. And I really like the new Black Lightning show too. If you couldn't tell, I'm very big into superheroes. All right, and her second question is, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have an older brother and an older sister. They are my half brother and sister. They have a different mother than I do. My brother's name is Eddie and he is 46. And my sister's name is Shelly and she is 45. And a lot of you probably know of my nephew, Nico. He is eight years old and he is my brother's son. All right, we got Grace underscore Dino. How many pets have you had in your entire life? Right now I have two dogs and a cat. I'm sure everybody who's watched Vlogmas knows about Sammy, Cooper, and Rocco. Oh mom, perfect timing. How many pets have I had? When you were born, we had Sasha. Sasha and Max. Cat, and we had the black lab, which is Max. Max, and then? Then we got Maggie the cat, and we got Baby. Baby and Sadie. And then we got Sadie. So that's five, and then and now we're with Rocco, Cooper, and Sammy. Yes. So that's eight. Eight? Do we count the birds? Oh, and we had two birds. Buddy and Elvis. So Elvis ten. And Buddy. No birds anymore though. <laughs> so ten pets total. Okay, and last but not least, uh, Pachulo asks, what is your guilty pleasure song? No shame, anything from High School Musical. One Direction, Backstreet Boys, um, I like me some Spice Girls and Little Mix from, from time to time. I'm a big Disney dork, musical theater, I could go on and on. Alright guys, well hopefully that uh, helped you get to know me just a little bit better. Thank you to all my Snapchatters who asked the questions, make sure you go follow them. All their handles are right here on the bottom of the screen. And let's hope and pray that Snapchat puts the stories back to how they used to be. Well until next time guys, it's Roscoe Red. Make sure you hit me up on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, it's all at DJ Roscoe Red. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Wow, I'm a real YouTuber now, aren't I? Alright guys, see you in the next video. Roscoe Red, signing off.